Today we're gonna have a South Korean showdown and this design battle is between the Kia K5 and the Hyundai Sonata. So what we're gonna do is of course you know the drill by now, we're gonna talk about some of the base spec and tech and then of course analyze and compare the design from front, side and rear. I'm gonna let you know what I think of it and which one of these I would personally buy. So thanks for the comments on my previous video on what cars you want to see in a design battle and today we have this showdown here, South Korean showdown thanks to East Terminal's suggestion on my previous video. So, in the blue corner, we have the sharp and crisp design of the Kia K5. The price range is from $23,790 for the base model up to $29,000 for the top-of-the-line GT version. It's powered by a turbocharged 1.6-liter inline-4, putting out 180 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque, which is pretty low, I would say, for today's standard. The base model comes at front wheel drive with an 8-speed automatic transmission. In the red corner, we find another bold South Korean design in the Hyundai Sonata, of course. It starts at $24,150 for the base model, all the way up to $33,000 for the top-of-the-line, more sporty N-line version. And this has, the base model has a 2.5-liter inline, inline 4 generating almost the same power as the Kia, a little bit more, 11 horsepower, more at 191 horsepower, but a little less torque at 181 pound-feet of torque. It also has front-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic. However, both the N-Line and the GT come with the same 290 horsepower 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder. However, the N-Line only comes as a front-wheel drive, while the GT offers all-wheel drive in their sportiest trim level. So now, let's jump in here and let's have a look at these two designs because there's so much to talk about here. I've said this so many times before. I think you've probably heard it before, but if I were a designer, I would jump on a plane, fly over to South Korea and apply for a job at either Kia or Hyundai just because of these designs that we have right here. So let's start with the Kia. I really like the new design approach from Kia, not just with the K5, but the overall design, uh, the, the entire lineup. I think they're doing a really good job by hammering in the Tiger Nose. We've seen the Tiger Nose in Kia since the mid-2000s, and that is this specific design treatment in the front end. You see the framing of the entire front now is in fact the tiger nose. It's become a lot a lot bigger than we, we, we've seen in previous models and now it, it houses the, the headlights themselves as well right here. And this mesh right here is inspired by the, the skin of sharks and I think it looks cool. It looks a little irregular and it gives something new instead of just a hexagon mesh or something like that. This is a 3D style mesh that reaches far into the grill if you look at this from up close. And then we have this signature headlights of the K5 and this is something that you won't mistake for anything else than a Kia when you see it at night. And what this line itself, what this design is inspired by is the EKG line or the EKG uh, curve of a healthy human heart. That's how they came up with that design. That's how deep designers are thinking these days. They're thinking, how can we create something really cool with the headlight design? What can we take inspiration from? And what better to take it straight from the human heart and implement that as an LED in the front end? Really cool design. What I like about the front end here, when we compare it to the Sonata um, in a bit, is that we have a proper front bumper. So this is one piece that stretches from one point right here to the other in a almost straight line. And it creates it's this traditional front face where you have the top part, you have it divided into two pieces. You have the top part of the front fascia, then you have it divided by a proper bumper. Then we have the lower part down here as well. When it comes to line flow, it's a little bit uh, confusing, the line flow here in the Kia's front end, but we do have some. For example, we have this line going from one end to the other, and then as I said, the top of the bumper here going in a little bit, kind of framing, giving it a nice chamfer right here underneath the headlight, which looks pretty good. And then we have the key line here in the hood going down here creating the edges or the corners of these uh, tiger nose details in the middle section of it. Down at the bottom we not we don't have a lot of line flow right here but it still looks pretty good. It looks cool. It looks futuristic and modern with all these chamfers going on and I think this front end is one of the best looking front ends of any you know normal sedan that we have out in the market today. Comparing this to the Hyundai Sonata as I said these two brands have really hammered in their design language the last couple of years and there's no different looking at the, so 
Sonata. So have a look at specifically this piece, which is very special for this model. And this is something I have never seen before in any production vehicle. And what I'm talking about is this specific line. You have an LED right here that fades from very strong down here. And then it just fades the higher up it goes and then blends in to this chrome trim piece that also goes around the window in the greenhouse. It's a really cool detail and both of these front ends show that the designers in South Korea right now, they're really having a lot of fun designing their cars and they're also thinking a bit outside of the box and implementing new strategies specifically when it comes to the graphic features. And this is stuff that, that we couldn't really do when we had halogen lights and headlights. So this is something that I think we're gonna see more in other brands as well, playing around with the light design in the front end. That, that happening a lot now in Audi cars as well. This, as you can see, it doesn't have a clearly defined bumper. Instead, we have this, which is very modern in today's world, to have a massive grille in the front end. It doesn't look too bad, but I do prefer still having a body colored line or something cutting in the middle of, of the grille to separate the top part, as I said, in the Kia, and then the lower part of the graphics here. I think that creates more of a more of a width, more width in the front end if you have something like that. I do prefer from a front view, I do prefer the Kia's approach. And another thing that uh, I think Kia is doing better here in the front end as well, if, if you look at the lower part of these two cars, you have a very nice lower part of the front end hugging the road on the, on the Kia. But in the Hyundai, it goes almost up like this. So it's almost a concave line in the bottom. And I prefer to have it be like this. And I made a redesign on this, a very quick redesign that I think makes a big difference in the front end of the Hyundai when you just create a similar line like the Kia has right here instead of having it be in the opposite direction and go this way. So let's have a look at the rear view and here it kind of switches for me which one I prefer the most. I think the rear end of the Kia it looks a little I don't know what it is it looks a little too busy. The front ends are very busy in both of these cars as well but I think the rear end just doesn't have the same kind of flow like we have in the front end of the Kia right here and another thing that Kia is doing right now is I've talked about this in uh, Kia videos before they like to put this some type of trim chrome trim piece in the C pillar or in this area of every single new car that they have if you look at all Kia's all the new cars from Kia every single one of them are gonna have some silver or chrome trim piece going down in a specific way right here as a just a decoration piece and I'm not sure if that really works with this design though because I'm not sure if I like this curvature then cutting into the rear window in this way it doesn't really look too clean to me but I do like the taillights I kind of wish that they would connect this red line so we have a light bar going right here but at the same time you know I've said this so many times as well that every single car has a light bar today so this is a new take on how you can make a light bar stand out a little more and you still have the connection though with the front end light with this curvature right here which I really think is a good idea to connect the front end graphics with the rear end graphics by using the LEDs and the lights inside of the housing itself. On top of that, we still have a very clearly defined bumper right here with a nice line. We also have another horizontal line right here. So this creates a, a bit of a wider look for the Kia and I really like that. Down below we have a pretty decent looking diffuser, nothing too crazy. This is what uh, most car companies do, do today. They add a little diffuser here even though it's not really functional, it just looks cool and looks sporty. I'm not a huge fan of these air outlets right here. They could have saved that only for the uh, GT version, the sportier version and then make them functional as well of course. But other than that it's a pretty decent looking design. And I'm going to show you from the side view which car I think this looks a lot like specifically in this area and specifically from a side view in just a minute. So let's have a look quickly at the Sonata here. I really like this rear end. I think this looks so much cleaner than the front end of the Hyundai and it looks a lot more uh, solid in, in a way. It looks more like a unit and then you have this beautiful line flow and a new take here as well on how you can implement a light bar in the design going down here instead of connecting it up here like we have on for example I think and maybe some Hondas have done that. I can't really remember 
remember what car I'm thinking of right now. Most cars have their light bar up here, not in the center of the of the trunk. And I think it actually works here. It creates same thing here. Both of these designs doesn't matter if you see them in day or night. You're still gonna recognize them as exactly the Sonata model and the K5 model. There's no mistaking if you look at them from the rear or the front because they have so unique treatment of their light design. So this is a really cool rear end. You have the same kind of bumper design right here as you have on the Kia. So it's a solid line creating the nice bumper down there. And then you have the nice framing of the graphics up top right here as well with this little curvature at the top creating a very solid, beautiful looking rear end in my opinion. So the win for the rear end goes to the Sonata here, I would say if I had to pick one of these just by looking at the rear view. Now, last but not least, let's have a look at the side view. First of all, looking at the Kia K5 up top. Now you can see this chrome trim piece up here going into the rear end and creating this weird looking thing that feels a little out of place in an otherwise very clean design. There's not a lot of lines in the side in this part of the design. There's not a lot going on within this area, but there's one line here that I think is really annoying and I can't understand why they added this line. It, it doesn't really make sense to me. And that line is this line right here, sharp line going just in the body. It it just looks also out of place. So we have two things it looks out of place in the rear. We have this line and then we have this trim piece, chrome trim piece. And they are two things that I would probably take away from this design. The thing with Kia is it looks very, very busy in the front end. It looks very, very busy in the rear end. But in the middle, it's like a very calm ocean. There's nothing going on. And then the waves are crashing on each of these coastlines in the front and the rear. But the car that I think the, the K5 really looks like when it comes to this part is the Chevy Malibu. It looks a lot like a Malibu from the, I would say, the, the middle section going back this. This section looks a lot, to me at least, like the Chevy Malibu. And that's not really a bad thing because I think the Malibu is a decent looking sedan. The thing with the, the sedans these days is they don't really have a sedan shape anymore, a traditional sedan shape anymore. What I taught, what I mean by that is you have a, s a continuous curvature here and it doesn't really create a proper trunk like we used to have back in the day. So we don't have the three box design anymore with the front box being this part, then we have the second box and then we have the third box back here. Back here. Now it looks almost like a sport bag. All of these designs these days, sport bag design, maybe a hatchback even. Comparing the K5 to the Hyundai, the Hyundai looks very, very clean. I really like this treatment of the shoulder line. Same thing here, nothing, I haven't, I haven't seen this before. Having a shoulder line that kind of uh, changes in its uh, thickness, very, very, narrow at this point and then it becomes thicker and thicker going back creating this connection to, to the taillights in a very cool way. And then this line is then mirrored down here. So we have the same kind of dynamic line here with the thickness in these two parts and nothing really going on right in the middle point. And this line then continues into the bumper and all around the rear end and then wraps around the car. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a connection to the front end because it doesn't have any chamfer right here connecting it all around the car. But we have it for about three quarters of the design and I think that's good and enough. So which one of these would I choose if I were to buy the Kia K5 or the Hyundai Sonata today? Well, I would definitely go for the K5 simply because of the front fascia, which I really think he has done a well, a really good job on. Same with the Hyundai, but I, as I said, I think the Hyundai looks a little sleeker, a little weaker. I like the more upright design of the, uh, of the Kia and also this heartbeat LED. It looks really cool and it really sets it apart from any other sedan out there on the market. But Hyundai, Kia, they're both doing very well when it comes to design and I really like to see what they're gonna do 10 years from now is this if this is the change they've done in the last five years the next 10 years should be really interesting specifically moving into the EV market let me know which one you would prefer of these two and also let me know which cars you want to see in future design battles right here on the channel thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video Alan did you have to make noise while I was recording you couldn't wait one more minute Bye.